begin to miss everyone I've served with, both alive and dead. And even though I'm surrounded by my loved ones, I feel alone again. I'm pulled from my thoughts as I hear someone complain about me being on my phone. They say, Memorial Day is about family and being together. And I'm not mad. I understand their perception of the day, so I smile and apologize, but quickly go back to the men I served with on my phone. I'm uncomfortable around everyone. And this isn't a new feeling, but it's one that's been absent for quite some time. But now everyone's aware of my sensitivity to the day, and they want to help but don't know how. So for the rest of it, they're soft with me, and it's uncomfortable. These moments are rare and becoming less frequent, but I still don't know how to deal with them. Maybe I never want to. Every year since on Memorial Day, I find myself looking for balance. It's always personally sad and at the same time a celebration of life and gratitude. I know that the friends we've lost would want us to spend the time we can enjoying our loved ones while we remember them. That provides a little bit of comfort. However, for many of us, there's also a sense of responsibility. But I can't tell you how my friends have sacrificed their lives to protect the men and women next to them. To clarify, it's not that I can't share these memories because it would be too hard, although that's also true. But I can't share these memories because even though they're the ones that weigh most heavily on me, they're not solely mine to share. They belong to the lost one's friends and families. And for that reason, I can only share them with those closest to me while I attempt to grasp the scope of sacrifice and reverence that the day demands. But no matter what I do, at the end of it, I always find myself waiting in a mixture of guilt, appreciation, love, and sadness. Always sadness.